This is quite an interesting thing. I'm in crew accommodation at the moment, and when we moved in, there was one of the lights kept flickering in the hallway, so I fixed it by replacing the lamp holder because this existing lamp holder was arcing internally. And it's quite unusual because it's a safety lamp holder. And I've never actually seen one of these in the flesh so far. So, well, what better thing to do than take it apart? Let's get down closer to this. So here's the idea. In the UK, we have what are called bayonet cap lamp holders, which are the two pins out the side and then the two contacts at the end. And this is not electrically connected to anything. Some, sometimes it's grounded, but usually it's just live and neutral, whichever priority you put it in. With the normal socket, you've got the two pins at the back, and if you were to poke your finger into it, you could get an electric shock. However, with this socket, when you put it in, it hits an interlock, and it, the pins aren't live until you actually twist the lamp. But this is making crunching noises. This is not twisting. I think that may be the problem. The back of it has already suffered plastic fatigue and has snapped off. Let's get a screwdriver and prise this apart and see how it comes apart. I can see little tangs here. Oh, that, that's not so bad. This is very brittle. I think this lamp holder is old enough to belong to the era of uh, tungsten lamps that are very hot. Okay, right, there's where it was arcing. So the connections in the back uh, just come down to these two pins that then rub onto these contacts. And I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess that when I put this in and rotate, oh, it's scrunching. It's, yeah, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh, let's just keep exploring it then. Oh, this is absolutely baked. Righty-ho, let's keep going down. I shall poke the guts out. Oh, this is crumbly to bits. It's just absolutely wrecked. Where is the other spring? Oh, there, there's the other spring, I think. No, it's actually stayed in place. Oh, the plastic's broken, that's why, around there. So how does this mechanism... Here is the shutter that rotates. Is it just rotating? Well, now I've removed the crunchy bits. Let me see if I can reassemble this. So when the lamp's put in... Ugh. When the lamp's put in... It is rotating that plate inside. Okay. Um, and when it rotates that plate inside, I'm guessing that these contacts that come down onto these pins probably have little, uh, they do have little spring-loaded contacts underneath. I'm not quite sure uh, they were supposed to go in. Oh, they're supposed to go in like that. And that, in rotating, um, Hold on, I'm just going to have to have another go at this. So the actual, the contact pins stay put, but this rotates. And I'm guessing then that this springy contact does, does just rotate onto these pins. It must move and slide on them. Right, tell you what, I'm going to try and assemble this. It could take a wee while to work out this puzzle, but I shall try and assemble it and see if I can work out what's going on here. One moment, please. Well, that didn't take too long. I've worked out how it works. As you twist the lamp, it actually slides those contacts backwards and forwards. I thought they were going to rotate, but they actually slide sideways. So these are sliding contacts on the top here. And uh, it just sits on these tangs. And uh, when they slide, they move backwards and forwards, this spring-loaded contact, and to make contact with uh, the actual pin on the back of the actual socket, the one that the lamp is making connection to. So that's interesting. Uh, an interesting mechanism. Different, different, different to what I was expecting. This one is definitely showing the signs of heat. There's a certain thing that, you know, LED lamps may kind of bake themselves. I mean, we've featured this so many times in this channel. But uh, technically speaking now, the lamp holders are going to last a lot longer because they're not subject to the same thermal fatigue they used to be. So uh, very interesting. Actually, I'm glad that failed now. Um, so we could take it apart and see how it worked. That was quite fun.